<laughs> like imagine me at my grandfather's attic this is smoking crack in 2000 yeah. thinking to myself i'm gonna be sitting on a podcast in la talking about if i want to do porn with the number one porn star in the entire it's world it's fucking or... insane bro life makes no sense it's crazy life makes it's no sick, sense though. it's so dope all right this is podcast breakdown numero nef thanks for coming today we're looking at bradley martin's podcast with mike malak bradley martin being the huge youtuber and by huge i mean by like physically physical mass huge owns a gym clothing line all that good stuff and he's the host of his own podcast culture cast and then we have mike malak former heroin opium addict now co-host of impulsive has his own youtube channel and he somehow has a superpower to make porn stars fall in love with him is it just me or has mike gotten so much hotter over the past couple months down to dive in this first clip if you are roll it when you live with somebody like Logan Paul and you work with somebody like that, I think a lot of people get hung up and want to think a lot about, yo, know, how talented this kid is. Yeah. I'm not going to take anything away from the kid's talent. He's talented as fuck. But his true factor, his, his factor that changes him from everybody else's is his work ethic. All right, here's the thing. If you've ever seen any of Mike's content before, you know he talks about Logan Paul's work ethic a lot. Just doing enough. That kid enough. grinds. And he'll always say Jake grinds harder. Logan Logan works from the morning from the from the moment he wakes up in the morning until the moment he goes to sleep at night to the point where I really need to witness a full day of Logan Paul's life for myself and hey it's not because I don't believe him it's because I'm currently working on my work ethic and self-discipline so I think it's fascinating to learn about how other people structure their days that's all he does the only thing he cares about is content the only thing he cares about is filming making the best content for his fans you know I started putting out videos for the night shift that I told him I was like yo I'm doing it for fun and he's like, not anymore, you're not. Not you're when it started it going 100,000, 500,000, a million views. Is that weird? Whatever, you don't get it. Or do you? Nah, you don't get it. Roll the second clip. Like if you yeah, ask me right now and you're no. like, if you ask me today, and this is, this is another gift and a curse. If you ask me today, you're like, yo, what are your goals right now? I have none. What? Yeah, I've been, I haven't I've had been a goal in my entire life. What? I've never had a fucking goal in my, and it, this is so bad. Please, if you're watching this, do not adapt this style unless you want to. If you want to, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm a it wild. It might already be a part of you. It's, it's a part of me. Yeah. I'm a wild soul, and I got so used to, yo, is tomorrow coming? I don't know. Let's live for today. This is one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my life. I just, I don't think he meant it as literally as he said it. Because going from where he was, opium, heroin addict, to where he is now working with one of the biggest YouTubers in the game, that's not an accident. You must have wanted to succeed at some point. And that in itself is a goal, right? I think Bradley Martin comes back in and sums it up nicely. You know what I'm saying? But and the like, crazy part about that, man, like that's how you get things done though. It's weird. I just tried to work every day, right. do something every day, right. and try to, and like I said, try to be as much in the moment as I could, yeah. despite everything else. It was like, but that's the crazy thing is, I, again, I, people listen, I'm not saying go and like fuck all your plans and your goals. You have to have a goal, like a big, like a, like a big wide view. Yeah, 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 a big yeah. wide view. But yeah. like your day to day, you should be doing something every day to get closer to like one of those things or a, the bigger picture. Something, like, working on yourself. And that's like, a, that's good advice too to people out there that are like lost. All right, fair warning. This next clip is gonna upset you. And that's is been it, is another it the OnlyFans shit or what? Yeah, OnlyFans. Like she was doing private Snapchat. She was making like crazy money monthly yeah. on that shit. And it's just like that OnlyFans grind is crazy. I know. Trust me. I've heard about it. And it's going to make you question every second you spend in your university degree or job or everything. You about to start one, maybe? <laughs> Fuck, dog. I mean, it's like, I mean, I would need a girl, you know? She's been trying to get me to. Um, like we talked about this briefly. I didn't know if you want to bring it up, but I, I want to ask you about it. Yeah, she's been trying to get me to to do it to do um, OnlyFans because that shit content would with her. She, she would make a she'd make a half a million a month. She'd make a half a million a month. A yeah, half a million a month. Half a million dollars on OnlyFans. What planet do we live on? And why am I not a hot girl? This sucks. She'd make a half a million a month. My life sucks. I hate this place. I'm not surprised. I wanted to include this last clip where Mike goes in and talks about the lowest point of his life. I was still struggling very much with my addiction. And there was a day where he was downstairs in his recliner uh, calling for me to come down and help him because he was stuck in his recliner. And I was upstairs smoking crack. Um, and I was too paranoid to help him. And um, I was just... I think it's an important message to share about how much your life can change, no matter what position you are in. And whether you think working with Logan Paul is an accomplishment or not, to go from where he was to where he is now, that's pretty cool in my books. I don't know about you. 
uh, it, there's just no shame like that. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no, there's no way for me to explain what that felt like. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, yeah. uh, and that, and, 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 you know, that was just the lowest point of my life. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was only about three or four months before I got clean. And then, uh, you know, obviously everything that you see now is a result of getting clean. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, the, the, like I said, I don't do this for, I don't want to talk about this shit. Kind of shows you that the only real obstacle in your way is you. Kind of a cliche, but you know what they say about cliches? They're usually true. All right, that's all the clips we have. I'm gonna end this with four quick points. I didn't know this, but Bradley Martin actually had a podcast since 2018. It was just an episode here or there, but now he's back every Thursday. Every Thursday, I'm gonna post a podcast. This is a perfect example of why podcasting is one of the best mediums in the world. Two people sitting down together having genuine conversations about some of their struggles, and you can see how powerful that is in the comments. Um, Bradley Martin makes the distinction between confident and cocky, and I just think that's a legit point to make. I know that I do need to feel like I am my best version to be my best version. Yeah. No one cares if you're cocky about your work, but people are gonna respect the fact that you're confident. And, last but that, and last but not least, Mike has a book coming out on May 5th, and I'm sure his story can help a lot of people. I mean, I'm not gonna read it, because I'm just like as fuck, and reading's hard, but I'll listen to it when he does audio version. All right, that's all she wrote. Full podcast linked in the description. Go check it out. And then after that, just go listen to more podcasts. What else you do? I think I just fell in love with a porn star. And I'm like, I've been, I asked her today, I'm like, let's be honest. I'm like, what's my fucking cut? What what's, is it? What's my exactly. Cut? You got to talk about she's that. She's like, that's pretty cool. But, you know, I wish I was half a million dollars a month richer, you know?